is better for me. You guys should pray for me. Sometimes I just want to cry. But I know crying will not help the situation. It will not help the situation. The only thing that can help me at this moment, I know I have complex issues. The only thing that can help me is to get a job. So if you are seeing this video out there and you are wondering to yourself, is this Canada still what going to? Do I still want to come to Canada? This one that people. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time of seeing my face, hi. My name is Opehi. I'm a social worker and an immigrant here in Canada. And on here, I share my life experiences, hoping that you learn something from me and I learn something from you. And today's video is not a clickbait. I'm not doing this because I want views. I'm just doing this to share my experiences and, you know, just let people know that Canada is still worth coming to if you come with a plan. If you're coming to Canada with a plan, Canada is still worth coming to. If you're coming to Canada, you have to decide what you want, what you like, what's your reason for coming to Canada? What do you plan to achieve when you come to Canada? What are the things that you want to do to help you be in a like in a very good position when you come to Canada? Where you don't have to struggle too much to get a job and stuff like that. But people don't make those plans before they come to Canada. They just pack their things and up without a plan. And most times when you go somewhere without a plan, you're already planning to fail. And I know Tina mentioned in her video that she's been here 19 months and in 19 months she's still where she is there have been no growth like if she had made up her mind to go to school in the beginning where she came by now the story would have been entirely different but that's what i believe because i was in this situation when i was in america i was also in a situation where i was like thinking of what to do and i just saw that america wasn't working for me and i left and when i left america and went to the uk i made sure to look for something more strategic that was going to give me an upper hand wherever in the world i go to like if if canada is not working for you have you tried to tweak things change things around i know she said in her video that oh she's a licensed health practitioner she's a business analyst she's a project manager like which one are you you know and that's the mistake people make people just go around doing everything and anything without a goal without a plan and just following through what people are saying you don't have a plan of your own and that's why people fail you fail because you don't have a plan so if you are seeing this video out there and you are wondering to yourself is this canada still what going to do i still want to come to canada this one that people are crying canada is still what's coming to if you come with a plan come with a plan know what you want to do if you have experience in a particular field field begin to look at things that you need to do to you know be employable what are the things i need to do do i need to build more personal skill do i need to build more character do i need to learn how to interview more do i need some certifications to add to what i already have i know she mentioned in her video that she doesn't want to go back to school because going back to school is difficult it's going to be too hard to do and all that i went to school with two children running a master's program and i was still um working full time i did it you can do it my heart goes out to you really my heart goes out to you because i've been in this situation where i was totally confused myself but i was able to tap myself like pinch myself real fast and i think it's time for you to pinch yourself ask yourself what do you want to do do you want to pursue your career in public health do you want to be a business analyst do you want to pursue your, a career as a project manager you have to figure out what you want to do and follow it through build yourself in that in that space if you keep going here doing this one doing that one doing this doing that at the end of the day you waste your time chasing your tail going in circles and before you know what's happening it's five years already but that five years would be enough time for it a bachelor's degree in another field that you know that is more in demand so these are the kind of things that happen that make people go through you know this same circle over and over again most times when you are in a foreign land you have to look at what is in demand and pursue a career in what is in demand our skin color 
sorry guys i'm just in a tunnel like on that i'm just under the bridge and that's why it's a bit dark but yeah our skin color already has kind of put us in a disadvantage and that is the truth our name skin color has already put us in a disadvantage let's not be let's not lie to ourselves this to be of an advantage you have to put yourself strategically you have to make more um excuse me sorry about that guys so yeah you just need to be more strategic like you have to make more strategic um, plans just so that you can be in a better situation I remember when I was in America and I was looking for jobs I knew people were doing caring jobs people were working as carers I didn't want to be a carer I went and I did a certified nursing assistant training and did my um, license examination to be a certified nursing assistant I was licensed as a certified nursing assistant in the state of Texas and I was making, I think, 13 or 14 dollars an hour at the time, can, um, US dollars at the time. That was in 20, 2017 or 2018. So when I was living in America, I knew that I needed to go and look for a course that will put me in a situation whereby come what me, I'll always have a job. And that was why I went to do social work. So what I'm just trying to say is that when you are coming to Canada, come with a plan and always try to look for something that would give you an edge if you're a business person and you like to do business look for a business that will give you an edge and follow your plans through like come with a plan and follow your plan through like don't start chasing what other people are chasing you don't know what people have done like if you see somebody that is a business analyst you don't know the plans that the person has made beforehand to put the person in that situation so yeah I my heart really goes out to Tina. It, it's a space that's just a phase in life, and you will pass through that phase. But it's just that you have to prepare yourself for the for the next stage you are going to. So if you're not, if you say you don't want to go to school, that might not be a very good idea. That's just my opinion, though. It might not be a good idea. You might just need to do one or two certifications just to prove that you have the skill that you say you have. Like you, they just. They, just do some certifications and put yourself in like a better space you know yeah and canada is still worth coming to i've said that i know i've said that before canada is still worth coming to like i am grateful to god to be in canada i've been in canada for of just over a year now and i am okay i was watching a video that Faye, Faye mark and um asamaka onyeka asamaka put out I think it was last week and they said exactly the same thing their counterparts are making more money elsewhere in the world but they are okay she came when she left nigeria she was a um nigerian trained pharmacist she came here to study um public health and after public health she found out that getting job in public health was a bit difficult she went back to do accelerated nursing course and now she's okay you need to have a plan if you don't plan you're meant to be ca buying car and you'll just be there shouting vanity is vanity all is vanity i people do continuing care continuing care if you do continuing care some places do continuing care for people free like the regina trades and skill do continuing care free and then when you start working in fact when you apply for continuing care they don't need your experience they don't need you to come for experience without the experience when you finish your continuing care you start getting as much as 22 dollar an hour so you have to be more strategic strategic times require strategic measures people say it every time that canada has changed the dynamics of canada has changed so it's a more strategic time and this time requires more strategic measures you have to be more strategic in your planning this time around so canada is still welcoming to canada is still welcoming to do you want to come to canada if you want to come to canada come to canada with a plan canada is still worth coming to hey guys thank you so much for watching today's video this wasn't the plan for today's video so i'm going to post the video i had for today next week but anyway thank you very much for watching my channel if you've not subscribed to the channel please do well to subscribe if i did not introduce myself in the beginning of this video sorry my name is obehi i'm a content creator and a social worker that live right in regina saskatchewan canada thank you so much for your love thank you for always tuning into the channel thank you for your support i appreciate every one of you and until we'll see you again in my next one have a nice day guys oh, this sun is sunning what
Don't be deceived though about the sun. It is still